you're seeing, it's like the oil on top of water, which it is. It's a musk oil from the muskrat, and that's like their mating call. Muskrats can hold their breath up to 30 minutes underwater. We believe that the earth was created on the back of a turtle shell, and they needed an animal or a bird to dive under the water to bring that mud up from off the bottom. And the only animal that could hold their breath long enough to do that was the muskrat. I am Chief Donna Abbott, Wolf Mother is my traditional name. The Nassauwewash are a group of people who are descendants of the indigenous people of Dorchester County, also known as the Nanticoke. Our people have lived in harmony with nature over the years and we continue to try and do that. We're all about educating and trying to preserve our history and our culture. My family has been trapping muskrat for generations. It was a way of life, it was a job, it was food. The water is just full of musk. So, that's a good sign. Oh, we got the prize today. How about that? Nothing goes to waste. The pelts were and are still used for blankets and clothes. The bones were used for tools such as fish hooks and sewing needles. The muskrat is part of the ecosystem and it plays a big role in keeping everything healthy and regenerating. Definitely a lot less muskrats now than there were 40, 50 years ago. They're almost non-existent, it's sad to say. I can't entirely say that they're over-trapped. I don't think that's necessarily the case. There's not many trappers anymore either. Maybe the sea level rise, maybe pollution, maybe a lot of things. Mother Earth is in distress. She's out of balance. The trees are blooming in February and we've had some really high tides. The muskrat houses are being built higher and bigger. So when the tide comes up, they can move their family up to the second floor to get out of the water if they need to. The Phragmites, it's an invasive species and it has taken over everything. It's choking out the natural vegetation that the muskrat eats. Our residents in this part of the county are being forced out of this area due to the climate changes. The septics in the wells are threatened by the salt water. This is home. This is all they've ever known. They do not want to leave. The significant sea level rise that they're anticipating in the next hundred years, it's scary. It's heartbreaking. If we don't do something soon, we're going to lose all of our history. We're going to lose the environment for the wildlife around here. When I'm out on the ancestral land, it's a time for healing. It's a good place to unwind and decompress. Just listen to the pines. That's what my father always said, just listen to the pines. Everything around us is part of our family. We're brothers and sisters to everything. If we listen to our surroundings, we could probably get Mother Earth back into balance. And if she's in distress, we're just leaving a huge mess for our kids and our grandchildren. And I want my grandchildren to be able to walk trails and go to a park and see eagles and come down here and trap if they want to. I always tell people, respect Mother Earth and she will respect you.